mediums, but first of all, we need a judge. Now, this is a very special judge. Why? Because he comes from Scotland! And there he is, Peter Elms. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Peter Elms. Tremendously experienced Peter. judge Enjoy and competitor, and it is the culmination of a, of a fantastically long uh, uh, and, uh, and great judging uh, so, career for him. Real is, great honour to be he? able to do this. Wife Tricia and uh, Peter, seven dogs and three poodles they have. First to go, first to go to open up Crufts 2022, first of 11 in the medium dogs is Harriet Harding and Izzy. Izzy's fourth time competing at Crufts, working sheepdog, seven years of age, loves the atmosphere and gets very excited by it all. And we are away and running at Crufts, and that's a good quick start. Handler has to stay in front of a dog through the tunnel. Good tight turn there, has to get into those weaves from the right-hand side. And, and uh, a mistake there, had to start again, picking up five penalties through the tyre. Again, through the tunnel. Shame about those penalties, because otherwise it's been a very, very good round. Tunnel on the far side, another refusal there. And a bit of uh, Croft's nerves showing here for Harriet and for Izzy. And across the finish, they go 39, 5 and 10 faults, Brian. There we are. I thought that uh, the time wouldn't really be an issue for them, but as you see, the dog missed out the pole there, so that'll be five faults in the weaving poles. Nigel Staines, champion really for Kelpies in, in this agility, and there is this beautiful looking Kelpie. Zico, fast, intelligent dogs, these four years of age. Zico loves seeing these dogs run at Crufts. Looks dainty, but um, going at his own pace is Zico. Completes the weave successfully. Far end of the course, tight turn through the tyre. Picking up a bit of pace here and the tunnel as well. It's clean so far, 21 seconds on the clock. This is good for Zico, Nigel, for Kelpie. Parking her way round. Not the quickest we've ever seen, but it's very clean and accurate. And it's going to set the standard here this morning so far. 39.3 and clear, Brian. Nicely inside the course time there. Uh, quite a young dog, only four years of age, so the atmosphere will be getting to it. Plus the fact Nigel's a, a canny competitor. He doesn't want to be eliminated, so his, his, probably his foot wasn't flat to the floor. Lily Daking, five-year-old Chelsea scout. Andover. Bit of hesitation there. But they just do, as Graham's saying, elimination is what they really want to avoid at this stage. Just want a nice, clean, tidy round. And uh, again, missed out one of those weaves. Have to start again. Weaves causing a few early problems. I think probably this one at the end as well. Through the tyre, okay. No, that was fine in the weaves. into that tunnel at the far end of the course and picking up a bit of pace in this midsection as well is Sheltie, the five-year-old. Five-year-old Sheltie, just finishing. 42.3 and five faults. Yep, nicely done. Into the weaving poles, and you see that missing a pole, so they have to go back and correct it, uh, either from the beginning or from uh, where they made the mistake. We welcome Ashley Butler, who has joined uh, the TV presentation team here at Crufts. And she's with Eliza, eight-year-old bearded collie, always puts 110% into everything that she does. Achieved a lot of her goals last year, including winning a championship ticket. Ashley Butler and Eliza. Let's see about those. That's quick and that is very, very clean through the weaves. That's the best we've seen through the weaves so far this morning. Good through the tyre as well. This is a good pace and it is clear so far. This is looking like the best round we've seen from Ashley and from Eliza. What about the tunnel? Really getting into the stride now is Eliza. Turning so well, picking up plenty of time. And looking well inside the time as well. Well inside. That's the best so far. 35.3 for Ashley and Eliza. And clear. 
Yeah. Very nice round. Nothing, expect nothing less there from Ashley. She's been in very good form in the last couple of months since we came back from COVID. Um, and uh, uh, I think I might have 50p on her in the final, Jim, you know? That's generous for you. OK, here's Sam Tarr with Frankly. Oh. Just a... uh, she's OK, as long as she doesn't go through the uh, timing beams. So OK, that was a bit of a yeah, full start there. We'll have a word about that later on, but they're off and running. Sam Frankly, eight-year-old Shetland Sheepdog, first championship qualification at Crofts Week, and to give a little bit of nervousness at the start. What about the weaves? That's the way to take them. Absolutely faultless, flying through there. Good pace as well. Racing through the tyre. And the tunnel right in front of our commentary position. This is looking good. And frankly, letting us know that how much he is enjoying it. Well up with the clock at the moment. Well up with it. Close. 37.0 and clear. That's a great round for Sam and for Frankly. Very nice round there. And as I say, if anybody ever tells you that uh, we force our dogs to do this or the dogs don't enjoy it, just look at these dogs going around here. They are having a ball. To them, this is just a, a big game. Next in the big game, Shannon Springford from Swanley and Gift, eight year old Border Collie. OK, so I'll just talk you through this now. As you say, they go around here now, they'll go into the tunnel, but they have to go in the opposite end of the tunnel, so that's uh, a handling feature there, and then they turn left off the back of another jump there, and then they've got to push out round this one here. Nice, fast, straight here, through the tyre, into the tunnel. The handler peels away to pick them up. She changes side to pick up the dog on the left-hand side because they're going in the right-hand side of the tunnel. Out of there, they've got to watch the start jump. Very nicely done. Shannon's a very experienced handler. Get a nice tight turn. The tighter the turn, the better the time. Very nice there. 32, 8, 9, 2, and into the lead she goes, Jim. Very successful partnership. Winners in 2018 and laying down a marker here this morning. Shannon Springford and Gift. Top of the pile. James Adams and Willow. Six-year-old working cocker spaniel. The last winner of this event. And very, very quick is Willow. We've seen Willow before. That's a great sight going through there. Taking that very tightly as well. Hops through the tyre. Goodness me, that is really, really quick. I think this looks like the best of all. If they can keep it going and keep it clean, that's James and Willow, the Cocker Spaniel. Tight turn there. It's excellent. It's excellent. 32.4. It's up there. It's up there for James. It's up to number one, and they should every right to be delighted with that, Graham. They have. They've lost none of their speed over the last couple of years or their enthusiasm. James continues to improve as a handler. As the more experience he gets at these big uh, big events, the better they get. 32.4, then the time to beat Matthew Rouse. A classic mini American Shepherd. Don't see too many of those here, and there's early faults uh, for classic. Lumps agility, a lot to say. Very, very fast, but an early error in this round. Another one going through the weeds. We'll have to start the weeds again. And, and this round for Matthew and for Classic, the mini American Shepherd, somewhat unravelling early on. But, of course, the, the dog will continue, and Matthew will continue right the way through this partnership from Oakhampton. A shame about those uh, two early blemishes in this round, really. Bit of a hesitation at the top end of the course as well. Won't do the time any good whatsoever. Not the round uh, they would have wanted, Graham. No, not for the jumping, but uh, they achieved their aim of not getting eliminated. And unfortunately, the pole goes down there. The plastic poles. So, and again, the dog must go to the right of the first pole uh, to go in, and then alternately in and out after that. Dalton, Mer Dalton Meredith and Munchie. Very fast. Border Collie, six years of age from Ringwood. Runners up last time and looking to go one better this. The quality of this competition improving really by the minute. We're seeing some very, very classy partnerships here. That's excellent through the weaves. A bit wide going into the tyre. Every second precious. 
beautiful line over those jumps, tight and quick out of the tunnel as well. This is good. This is again going to be threatened. The lead is going to be right up there, and it's clear as well. This is an excellent round from these two. Well done, well done indeed. Into second place for Dalton and Munchie. And we are seeing the best of the best here at, uh, at Crofts. We're probably about 50% of the entry down due to COVID, and we didn't have the qualifiers, but uh, what we are seeing is, uh, is fantastic. Penultimate dog, Blythe Fox and Rue, six-year-old working cocker spaniel, fantastic dog. This one, fourth year at Crufts, has also competed for Team GB. Have now to come too far, these two. They're from uh, Bulkington in Warwickshire, just down the road from here at the NEC, close to Birmingham Airport. It's reasonably fast and faultless so far for Blythe and Rue. As Graham saying, the sounds of the room just underlining how much the dogs enjoy this agility. And that's a good time as well, 34.0. Putting them into fourth place, Graham. Very respectable. We'll see them again. We will. Very nice round indeed. You can see happiness on four legs, that is. Last dog in the medium section. Topic, four-year-old Cocker Spaniel. Handler Joe Gleed, an absolute rocket this one, but he's uh, hesitated there. And that'll pick up five faults. Have to enter those wheels from the right, and enjoying every single second going through there. Early problems with those wheels for some of the earlier dogs, not for the later ones though, and look at that brilliant little jumper this one is, topic. Clearing those obstacles by miles, that's fantastic. Swing around to the bottom of the course, just a couple to go, and this would be a good time. 35.0, five faults for Joe and for Topic. So just a little bit of confusion there. It's, it is all about communication, a little bit of confusion, but Joe even had time for, for a bit of a giggle and a, and a <laughs> laugh to her and say, what, what am I doing out here, she said. Uh, but she is one of the most uh, experienced competitors that we have. So we're just about to uh, put the jumps down for the next part of the competition. Yes, confirming then uh, th the results that uh, Willow and James Adam, last, the last winner uh, in first face, and uh, Dalton Merritt, just running through those results for you. We'll clarify those again uh, at, at, the end, at the end of the uh, event. Okay.